I'm sad, bro. Die, but wearing a shirt is a bit much. I didn't know him like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that actually happened to me once. <laughs> <laughs> they passed out shirts with this guy that died. I said, uh, "Am I repping a gang?" He's like, "Who is this guy?" He said, "No, nah, man, just, just wear it. Show, you know what I'm saying? Show your condolences." I said, "Sorry, that's all." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> they wanted me to represent. You rep You put no. I'm trying to tell you, wearing people's t-shirts is repping a set. Before you know it, before you know it, you're in heaven talking to him. Talking about, Bro, how you get here? <laughs> I just yeah, had your merch on. I had your merch. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Yo, what's the deal? What it do? Welcome to episode 80. Dang, almost at 100. Almost at 100. I quit before then. <laughs> if we ain't known by 100, I guarantee you don't see me on one-on-one, -on -one, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Anyway. Oh, yeah. The song's playing right now. My boy Cam will pretend. But, um, what happened this week? Um... I feel like I feel like it was a lot. I, first of all, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to YouTube, Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. We have a Patreon right now. It is one dollar. You have it ad free. As you're listening to this, you probably heard an ad before this podcast started. You're probably going to hear one in the middle of the podcast, and you're going to hear another one at the end. If you don't want to hear any of that, join the uh, the Patreon. Eventually, why are you talking to them niggas like that? Because you got to sometimes you got to walk them through it, right? Nah, so, you disrespecting y'all audio listeners. YouTube, I got y'all. What do you mean? I look out for the YouTube. You don't do shit for the YouTube listeners. Yes, I do. What do you do? All YouTube listeners <laughs> get a free sticker. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, for sure, we're going to be posting a lot more bonus content on there. I would say by, say, March, we're going to start uh posting some. You might get one next week. You never know. But right now, it's only $1 for ad-free, so go ahead and subscribe to the Patreon uh, we got a Discord. We got a new and improved Discord. Going to try to be a little more active in there. And, yeah, that's about it. That's all you can really subscribe to. Rate us on Apple and you know, all that jargon and stuff like that. If you want to live anything below a five, just, just leave it alone. I don't, We're if you, really about to start showing people love that follow us on all socials. About the, you know, y'all might get moved to the front of the line for a listener call in the future or something like that. Yeah, I think, like, for like for the Patreon, it'd be, like, a guaranteed listener call or stuff. Yeah, stuff. once like, we start doing the tiers, it'd yeah, definitely yeah. be a guaranteed listener call. Not saying you're going to make the podcast, but you got a chance to make the podcast yeah. every week. And, if yeah, if you listen to this podcast and you've been a listener call and you've never heard your part on the, on the podcast, don't ever take offense to it. It literally is just because there's so much content in it. <laughs> don't take offense to there's so much content in it where we want to make it a really good listening experience and if we don't have the reaction we think we we were supposed to have i mean it was ass no it doesn't mean that Flat technically 100 so, percent. some of it some no, of no, it no. wasn't ass some it of it you was ass or you was telling like a sex story that we didn't feel comfortable putting out there yeah or you was incriminating yourself past being past being kind of funny but it's not that you're ass it just wouldn't it just didn't fit I'm the podcast i'm not being funny <laughs> some of them dudes is ass not there's not all of them are no not even all some of that them. don't make it they're not ass or the, some of them that don't make it, that's not ass. I mean, we had four really, really, really good ones. Good ones. Yeah, that's all. That's, that's all. That mean you ass. No, no, it doesn't mean just weren't as good. No, I get what you're saying. They not good. I don't think anybody was terrible to where they couldn't have made the podcast. You just lost out that week. You came in fifth place. You yeah, ass. that's it. That's not ass. That's like somebody, you come in fifth place in the Olympics. You're the fifth best swimmer in the world. But to me, you Talk ass. to your mic, bro. Huh? There you go. Fourth wall. Fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, I was just was that really light though? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not for all your listeners. I heard that on the Joe Budden podcast. Dude, uh, Queen Flips kept saying fourth wall, fourth wall. But anywho, um, there we go. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Oh hey, no, it was. Uh, I saw uh, an eighty-nine-year-old get her master's degree, bro. An eighty-nine-year-old? Yeah, get her master's degree. You hey. think that's dope? Yeah, yeah. I think that's stupid as fuck. Oh, why? Right. <laughs> you don't have that much time. You're in school. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> 89 shit. I'm trying to do shit I ain't never did before. Like? <laughs> Take a boat to Miami. I'm going to start selling drugs for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody be like, damn, you got a life in prison? Shit. I'm 89. Damn, that's tough to give somebody an 89 year old uh, life in prison. Life in prison? Good two years. I mean, it's the same thing now that you see like Chris Good Ball Juco. got his degree. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Ball got his degree. 
Uh, who else be getting their degrees? They should be doing that shit for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jared Smith's still in there's, school, right? There's nothing that uh, Intro to Bio could teach you about having $50 million. <laughs> yeah, I know it. I think they're just doing it for like the... Carbon the, monoxide. <laughs> uh, nigga, fuck. I think they're just doing that for like the... The, 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 the look. 100%. Especially for your kids and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the look, right. Because you know your kids might not, you know, it's Cause you know, you know, they That's that's kind of funny, though. Like, they're trying to avoid that argument. It's like, hey, bro, go get your degree. You like, you didn't, finish, you didn't finish school, Dad? Yeah, hey, that's because they looking at their sons like, damn, you not good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead and get this degree so this nigga know. It's okay. Yeah. Because you sorry. You see, you know who they didn't get their degree? Who? LeBron. <laughs> like, y'all got one choice. <laughs> He the first superstar where he, like, put his sons on front street. Mm -hmm. And he, like, I dare you to criticize. Like, every time you criticize him, we're going to get better at this. Going to be get better at that. Yeah. It's tough being. It's just tough being any, like, celebrity athletes, you know, yeah. uh, kid. Because now everybody expects so much from you. Like, I always think about, like, Bronny. Like, Bronny, obviously, is getting way more athletic and stuff like that now, yeah. too. But Just had an East Bay dunk in yeah, the game. In game, which is crazy. But it's still it's still at that level where it's like, is he LeBron James? No, like he's not where he was at in high school. But he doesn't have to be. That's what's gonna, that's what's gonna. That's <laughs> he what's doesn't gonna, have to be the greatest basketball player to ever play. That's if what's he gonna makes the suck NBA, about it. If he makes the NBA, that's just as good. That's what's gonna suck about it because it's like Michael Jordan's sons were ranked in the state in Illinois at a time where there are a lot of good hoopers in Illinois. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they were ranked, but to be ranked. In the state as a player in high school, that's a really good accomplishment. Yeah, but they were okay high school basketball players though. One of went to Illinois. Yeah, but they were like, I as as someone that's seen them play live. Regardless, they, they started on a varsity basketball team. Like, no, still, for sure, they still. were good basketball players. But you never thought they were gonna be great. Like, but the same, I'm just saying, like with Bronny, like let's say Bronny's ceiling is like Jamal Murray type of stuff because mm -hmm. he's a smaller guard and stuff like that. People are like, no, nah, he a disappointment. Like, what? yeah, exactly. And, and the other thing with the Michael Jordan son, they had the advantage of is not social media being that heavy. Yeah, that's true. So they, like, no one knew that half the time when when we were in Chicago, no one knew that was Michael Jordan's son until somebody said that shit. No, right, Marcus Jordan. Yeah, in but Chicago. Yeah, but just so, it doesn't matter. Everybody in Chicago is dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like somebody. He don't though. Marcus <laughs> and Jeffrey. Man, what the hell? God, something off. He, he don't. He didn't. They didn't really look like him either. Mm. Michael Jordan just got such a distinct look. Where it's like, if, yeah. if their son's not bald, then <laughs> you got hair or anything. Yeah, Why, Michael, Michael Jordan like an athletic mole rat. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Nah, shout out to MJ, man, the goat. Uh, Damar Hammond, right? That's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He woke up today. That was good. Yeah, yeah. You that saw, was good for everybody. You saw uh, Skip Bayless's tweet. That everybody yeah. was kind of up in arms about. Eh, I ain't sticking up for Skip, but. The thing is, Skip knew what he was doing with that tweet. I feel like I, if I watch my tweets, I feel like somebody that makes that gets paid millions mm -hmm. to talk and to tweet should watch their tweets and be like, "Damn, how can this be spanned in a negative way before I hit sin?" But that's never been Skip, and that's why he's famous. I understand that, but he has to know what line to teeter. And I always felt like he knew what line to teeter. I don't think he knows what line. He to teeter. never dealt. Anytime he got race bait, he made sure that he stayed on the right side. Yeah. Like this is not right. Like when he, I, f I feel like when he was talking about like when he talks about like Kaepernick situation and stuff like that, he knows like where to go. So I felt like, damn, this would be easy for Skip to not like mess up. But and then him and Shannon, Shannon didn't show up to the show the next day. The first one, and then the day he showed up, did you see that clip? Yeah. When they were kind of arguing during the... Yeah. He basically... Uh, it was during Shannon's monologue. Yeah. He was about to say... Talk about how he felt about the situation. Why he didn't feel comfortable talking the next day. Because he was a former football player. It meant more to him. And then Skip cut him off mid-monologue. He cut him off mid-monologue when he was... Because he was listening to a bunch of things that Skip did. And then one of them was like... The, the tweet. tweet, right? And then he was like, yeah, I, did, I didn't... Regret the tweet. Yeah. I don't. Re <laughs> I didn't mean, want Shannon just to slap the shit out this. Man, I think there's there might be some little internal shit that's going on. Now it is. Michael Strahan just came out today and basically dissed Skip Bayless. He yeah. didn't say his name, but he said we all do not agree uh, what Skip said, and there were questions at Fox. So yeah, uh, Skip is lying. Yeah, I don't know where he got that from. So yeah, Skip, well, Skip is bigger than Fox though. Yeah, <laughs> that show is. I mean, sure. look how much they paid him. Yeah. yeah. That's the reason people watch Fox, because mm -hmm. who else would go to Fox? Listen to Stephen A. Smith all day. Not, and not I hate listen. when we talk about sports. Hang on, lie. <laughs> <laughs> you see, everybody's getting that 30-second mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. A six-year-old shot a teacher. 
I don't know if I could talk about that. I don't know the health of the teacher. Ain't no six year old shooting me. Oh, <laughs> but listen, this man. I know a lot of people seen this video. A man and his date were arguing at the bowling alley. She had a bowling ball in her hand. As they're arguing, they're getting in each other's face, and she swings a bowling ball and hits him in the back of the head and knocks him out. Right? Knocks him out at the bowling alley. And the people that's recording her, like, now bowl a strike, bowl a strike. And she bowled, and she actually hit a strike. So you knocked some, like, skills into her? No, 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 no. They were arguing. Yeah. Right? She had a bowling ball in her hand. Mm-hmm. She had a bowling ball in her hand, and she knocked him out. And then bowled a strike. Oh, shit. Pushed him. Bam. Knocked him out. Bowled oh, a strike. slumped he, over. He got vans on, too. Maybe she knocked him out for that. Wow. <laughs> and she rolled a strike. No way. That shit got to be fake. I mean, either she was a very good bowler regardless. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Her back is pretty big. Uh, I'm No, that's nothing against her. She's got a big back, so it looked like, <laughs> bro, listen. You seen the way she slung that damn bowling ball? <laughs> Fuck, she didn't even fling. That shit was fluid. Oh, my gosh, Pat. She just got, it like, her back, muscular. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big back girl. Big back girl. <laughs> I was trying to hit it again so I could. <laughs> 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 Big back music. <laughs> Damn. What'd you do on January 6th, though? Huh? What'd you do on January 6th? Hey, I was looking. <laughs> I was looking for him. Hey. I'm surprised I didn't see more about it. No, nah, they was. They, I was just trying to. I think. You know, you know why? Because Joe Biden called that shit July 6th on accident. I don't get it. You know, he just called it July 6th. He was trying to say January 6th. Oh, damn. They need to get him. They need to take care of him. <laughs> hey, you sleepy Joe, boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they got that name. He half mechanical at this point. <laughs> like, God damn, he glitched again. <laughs> oh, fuck it. They give that boy CPR every morning. <laughs> like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't talk about the president like that. <laughs> like, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> they put a battery in his back. That's crazy. <laughs> well, you got the oxygen match before you go to this conference. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got 30 seconds before I start to turn gray. Let <laughs> me say some random shit, bro. He does. <laughs> Boy, when he fell asleep during that interview, that shit had me crying. <laughs> How you gonna fall asleep? I'm not gonna lie, feel him on that some shit. Some, nah, 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 that nah, nigga nah. be saying some boring ass shit sometimes. <laughs> like, yeah, when it's not directed to you, that nigga <laughs> talking to you and you fall asleep. Like, you got a problem. <laughs> He's <laughs> asking you, if I'm asking you a question, there's no way you're falling asleep. That's what wake people up. Like, damn, I was trying to sleep till you asked me that stupid ass question. <laughs> he falling asleep during that shit. <laughs> he really sleepy Joe, bro. His hair oh. look like uh, when you drop a sucker on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Got hair like a Cynthia doll. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, man. Javante Davis fought this weekend? Yeah, 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 yeah. But did you? <laughs> <laughs> he won. Uh, do, do you pee in the shower? Do I pee in the shower? Yeah. <sighs> Have I? Yes. I guess it's how you pee in. Like, if you pee, that's crazy. <laughs> if somebody turn around and pee to the back of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This shit got to come. I try not to, though. But sometimes when that hot water hits you sometimes. What do you mean? Go ahead. When the hot water hits you, sometimes you get that relaxed feeling. That boy get jealous of the streams. Like, shit, let me try that. No, but I, 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 I do... Try to just go in the bathroom you before I go. I go, I literally you take a piss before I take a shower. Nah. What you doing? I don't pee in the shower. There's never been a moment where I just be like, I got to pee so bad, I can't either wait to get out or I didn't know before I got in. The hot water don't do it for you? Nah, man, that's weird. Is it? Yeah, that's weird. You need to go get checked out. All right. <laughs> you need to see a therapist. A therapist because I... The hot I, water come when you pee? <laughs> the <laughs> <sighs> you need therapy No, nah, I, <laughs> I I said I didn't do it I said I, I, I've i done it before though So you've uh, never done it? Huh? You've never done it? Nah Maybe uh, when I was younger Nah 
<laughs> but I ain't stupid enough to admit I done some shit like that on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> This dude's stupid that's gonna as fuck. be a listener. That's gonna be a listener question for sure. Hell yeah! What's a good smell that you can't stand? Um, not that I really can't stand it because I love the smell of it, but it's popcorn. It just gives away too much information. Popcorn does? Yeah. How? I don't think people realize how much information popcorn gives away. It tells you that somebody is watching something. If I was a burglar, that's all I'm looking for. I'm just roaming the street. Till I smell popcorn I know you sitting down on that couch Watch me kick this door in, bitch <laughs> You think that's the only time people eat popcorn? That's crazy to me If I saw somebody When's the last time you ate popcorn in your house? In my house? Yeah I, I do, I got a couple For real? Yeah That's such a random thing to me I don't know why Popcorn? Popcorn in your crib? That's insane Yeah, of course you got popcorn in your crib Nah, I've never eaten popcorn in my crib That's insane that's wow. really insane. Not like since I was a kid when you used to get the little butter ones, but like it's such a, a random ass snack. I mean, you just don't like popcorn. I like popcorn. I eat I popcorn. I go you to do. You, yeah, you will eat it if you're there. Yeah, yeah. But you don't, not... you don't like popcorn though. You it's like okay. popcorn? Yeah. Why? Because nice. What a movie. <laughs> <laughs> we used to be best body. <laughs> no, nah, it's nice. What a movie though. The people have been saying for a little bit now that I've been here more of, and never, I never really put much thought into it what? is that uh the rock <laughs> the rock never admitted that he's on steroids i don't, I don't get it because the rock is 50 is 50 oh <laughs> and he, he still look like that and he still looks like that that's insane because <laughs> you know what the liver king and stuff that stuff happened and yeah he admitted but, that he was on something. yeah but obviously the liver king is a little different because he was he was like saying that he wasn't like people asked him point blank, point blank. Period. The Rock has never been a p- put in a position to a- be asked that question yet. You know, it's one of those weird things. Like, I love The Rock. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love The Rock too. I love The Rock, but if The Rock was shaped like Jonah Hill, would he be as famous? No, I don't think so. Because have you ever like went to like watch one of the Fast and Furious movies or any movie The Rock was in and be like, damn, The Rock, that was funny, mm-hmm. or? That's funny because that's the rock saying that. Yeah. And he built. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a, it's it's something I never really thought about. It's like, one of them things you, I don't know. I but could again, be. like the Liver King and all those other people, they're put in positions where they can get asked those questions. The Rock is never going to be put in a position where somebody's asking Because he, he hey. has so much money, he controls who asks him yeah. questions. The Liver King has to take questions like that. The Rock's not going on no social. podcast, nothing. Yeah, and he's also not selling. Anything yeah, also just promoting his movies. Yeah, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of strange. But he's not selling about. anything. Liver King was like taking steroids and selling something. As he was it. selling like just normal liver and stuff like that. But yeah, obviously. But when people ask him, he lies. That shit don't work. It, no, it works for like the stuff that he's actually promotes. Nah, I don't it's believe good. in none of them. No, no, it's good for you. Like it's not like it's, it's a magic pill. It's good for you. But the way he was promoting it was was like not the right way. So he's not a liar. He a liar. He's not a liar, but he's just a liar. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I got you. You know what one thing dudes need to stop saying? What? As a man, you got to suffer in silence. Like, nigga, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's therapists. You talk to your dad, your mom, <laughs> brother, sister. You ain't got none of that either. Talk to a coworker. Yeah, true. Like, That's- go talk to somebody. You ain't got to suffer in silence. Like, who are you around that's telling you to suffer in silence? Say something. <laughs> Say something. I'm giving up on you. That's the whole <laughs> Say something, nigga. I think it's that <laughs> as dudes growing up, it's like you're always taught to be tough and like, oh, don't cry and this and that. Don't do this. But in reality, it's like everybody has fucking emotions and shit like that. But that's what I'll say. I feel like being tough has switched, right? Mm-hmm. It used to be tough. To not say anything and not complain how things were. Like, if you're a man and people expect men to do this and you like, man, I can't do that. That's not being tough because you're going to get, you're not going to get the grain. You, yeah. Right? But now it's definitely tougher for men to come out and say, hey, I need help. Hey, I need to talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. It's definitely tougher. So that's the new definition of being tough. By you being silent, I mean, you a bitch. <laughs> Flat out. <laughs> Go talk to somebody, man. Look at us. Hey. Look at, hey, better nice. help. Better help insert your ad here. <laughs> I thought I just called somebody a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't a bitch, man. You just need to get some help. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. No, well, no, let's just have a moment of no laughing. You need some help. All right, back to the jokes. <laughs>
<laughs> just let people know I'm being serious. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Audio listeners need to uh, be tough then? Somebody listen to this. I feel like. What? Audio listeners, what? <laughs> Hey, shout out to the people that caught body today, too. Hey, you didn't get caught another day. <laughs> listening to us. Another day listening to us. That's crazy. I, what did they call us <laughs> to take the stand if he was listening to the podcast at that time? If somebody called in and, like, they talked about a body and we got <laughs> called into the stand, I'd be I, like, welcome to episode 82 <laughs> from the stand. <laughs> that nigga did it. <laughs> Die, play. No, I'm, I'm definitely saying that. I plead the fifth. I got you, bro. <laughs> no, I'm I remember that episode. What episode was that? <laughs> Are you talking about the one with 15 million views, Patrick? <laughs> Shit, you got me, bro. They got me. They got me. <laughs> it was that nigga, man. <laughs> For you, though, I'm mean, starting to... I'm going to be the first one to make them t-shirts. Nah, I'm definitely, nah, I'm they, definitely snitching. I'm going to walk out the courtroom, uh, and somebody going to hand me some t-shirts. I'm going to start handing out. They'll be like, hey, why did it say free Jonathan? How you know? Hey, just know I got some inside information. <laughs> Nigga ain't coming home. <laughs> Get these shirts ready now. Free him. <laughs> Nigga, he locked. Somebody snitched on him. <laughs> Somebody snitched on No, them. having the shirts, the free uh, shirts pre-made is crazy. <laughs> it's insane. You need to Would have... that be crazy if you had, like, somebody had an RIP shirt ready for somebody? <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. Just going through somebody's closet and you see your face on a t-shirt, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude behind it, like, yeah, bro, that's vintage edition. You ain't even die that year. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> bro, <laughs> why does it say 2024? Bro, you was on them pills hard. <laughs> should say 20 the should say 2020 on it <laughs> hey you was on them pills hard as hell bro pills covid all I, that shit happened. all that shit was happening i know you got that asthma and that covid i thought something was gonna happen to you shirts was on sale i'm like damn it's gotta be god talking to me <laughs> <laughs> he must be about to be deceased or something <laughs> oh my god. how these shirts go on sale the same time as they catch covid exactly <laughs> That and we sense. both took a picture together too. Mm-hmm. We never take pictures together. Never take pictures together. <laughs> I just, my, I was, he's like, I'm and, wondering why you wear my phone back. And my astrology said I would take a big loss this year. <laughs> I don't know if it's you. <laughs> you my boy. Oh man, projecting. <laughs> nah, hell no, nah, not projecting. All that shit is fake. All that shit. Cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long lives, prosperous lives, all that shit. If you witness a purse snatching. Do are you gonna chase? If you witness a purse snatcher, are you gonna chase a purse snatcher? Am I gonna chase them? No, I wouldn't. No. What if the girl's like, "Hey, please, 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 can you chase him? Get my purse back." <laughs> no. <laughs> what you gonna say to her face though? What am I gonna say to her face? Yeah. I'm gonna say we should probably we should probably call the police. Damn, that's it? Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, they can just cancel their cards and shit like that. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, why, why I got to play hero? Yeah, I would never play if hero. Because if I die, then what? You can be like, damn, why? why is my, he wanted that girl so bad that he chased after a person. That shit was Coogee, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Chase. That's a, that's a $50 bag. Yeah, no, you got to, I don't know. No, I got to look like the hero. I'm definitely not chasing him for real. I'm going to look good doing it. What, you going to slow jog? First thing I'm going to do is frisk myself for my fake strap. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what the? <laughs> Man, what the fuck? <laughs> then run after him. Then by the time we hit the corner, just look at him like, damn, that boy got some good strides. <laughs> <laughs> Start timing him. Like, damn, I'm like, damn, boy. I ain't get your purse back, but he, he should be in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you chasing after him, and then he stop and turn around like, what you doing? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> But nah, you like nothing? No, nah, I'm definitely beating his ass. He got to be soft as hell snatching purses. <laughs> do that's that's a random ass, still a random ass crime to me. That's crazy. Somebody crime, somebody bro. DM'd up and saying that that actually happened. That happened, but I don't know. That's I good. get the pickpocketing thing, mm-hmm. but to snatch someone's purse is crazy to me. <laughs> Only to find uh, women's accessories in there. That's the that's the thing do about ho- that's the thing school. about like breaking in cars, purse snatching with like blindly. It's like you're you're risking. Your freedom for something you don't even know. For a fucking car charger. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, all I got is two Apple car chargers. I broke that window, though. Man, bro, I, I left the club the other day, and people's uh, cars were getting broken, into. <laughs> like, five people. That's crazy. And I had my whole laptop and other people's laptop in my car. And I was walking to my... First of all, I was walking the wrong way. I was walking towards the way that people were parked on the street. 
five cars got broken into. I hear girls crying like, oh, my gosh, my car got broken into. And then I heard another dude, oh, shit, bro, they got me too. Hell no. He sounded a little more, like, happy about it. So I'm like, oh, shit. That boy, insurance must be good. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can start seeing the people that got insurance and people that don't. Hell, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got insurance, somebody break your window. But I knew. Kind of turning a before I, before I went. Because we went from one event to another, which I had my laptop. I was using my laptop at the first event. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to go all the way home, drop my laptop off. I'm like, fuck. I walked into my car and shit like that. Lord and behold, nothing happened. Hey. We here. It's fucked up for the people that <laughs> lost something. You know when situations like that happen, you know, you start praying to God like, hey, this guy, you, if you, if you... If you make it so that nobody broke into my car, God, I ain't never going to do this That's again. That's insanely selfish. I think God had anything to do with that. I'm just saying, He's Way though. busier than that. <laughs> to see if he can add a little assistance. He didn't worry about if somebody broke into your Tesla. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he obviously did. They didn't get breaking into. I should have bust out the sunroof. Out that bitch. That'd be crazy if they gave me a sunroof because I don't even have one. That'd be crazy. <laughs> you come back. <laughs> Brother, imagine when I got my bike stolen when I was a kid. And, you know, when you get a bike as a kid, you have, like, all the stickers on it, like, mm -hmm. all the cool stickers. Bro, the police brought that shit back to me, no stickers, and it had pegs. What kind of pegs? It's <laughs> just, like, the ones in the back. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I, no, no, to, no that was... I get a chat? No, that was corny. You said, whoa. <laughs> that was corny. That was. That was corny the way you said corny. How? How? Explain. Explain. You just gonna repeat after me? Are you just gonna repeat after we me? We can box. We can box. Come on, come on. What is we start? What's that? What is that? Well, I thought that was a uh, what? A road giraffe. I was like, what? <laughs> nah, bro, a rap running through here. <laughs> he started kicking it like this. Say, like, get off the podcast. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Hey." laughs> I don't think we recovered from that. No, nah, that happened in um. Kai Sinat's a live stream one time. A rat? Yeah. When he before he was like super popular. No way. Yeah, a rat that. came in the background, bro. This is when he was still live like living in like Brooklyn and shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that was before he got popular and shit. He's in some like controversy right now. Yeah. They're always trying to cancel somebody. It's a tough one. It's, it's a, a tough, tough one. But tough. hearing hearing no his explanation, it makes a little sense because he's saying that he just wants the police to deal with it. He doesn't want to talk to Either person just wants to get their information, get the information. That's the thing about hosting house parties, bro. And for people that don't know, Kai Sinat's a famous streamer. Um, they had a house party. Girl went upstairs, and then she alleged that she got, uh, well, she said that she got uh, sexually assaulted by someone that he knows, right? Which very well probably, like, I, I'm not, I, I cannot say she's lying at all, right? But the thing about it is that, it's the blame going to Kai because that's the thing about house parties, bro. And having pe a whole bunch of people and then people going upstairs, I think you have to regulate house parties a lot more. I think, like, I think no they, one can go to any rooms. I, like, but that's where that's where he messed up. Yeah, at. he told her to go to a room. Yeah, and if I do that to a woman, that's my responsibility yeah, for the rest of the night, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred hundred. But then it's, it's like, you, and if she texted me the next day saying something happened. I, right then and there, I already feel guilty for not checking up on you. I already got, feel guilty. I'm definitely helping you get to the bottom of this. Yeah, he said, he said he did though. He said he sent her, he, he sent her the name of the person she was looking for. And then after that, he said that his legal team has to deal with it from there. Oh, gotcha. So he just doesn't want to be like, he's like, he, he, from what he sound said, he sound like, but like you said, when you do tell somebody to go upstairs in a house that you're in, you to me, you then assume responsibility of yeah. that person as well. But for me, if I'm throwing a house party, no one can go into any rooms. Like, just don't go into any rooms by yourself. Like, I don't care if it's my homeboy trying to, like, sleep, hook up with a girl that he's with type of shit. Yeah. Just don't go in no rooms. Everybody should be seen. <laughs> and if you're leaving the house, you leave the house. Whatever happens outside my house, it's outside my house. But yeah. at the end of the day, something shit, shit happens inside your house. It's still your type of responsibility. No matter. You're not at fault. But yeah, I don't think I don't think I think he made a mistake by letting her go to the room. But I don't think this is his fault, and I don't think he deserved to get canceled. Yeah, no, I, it's not his fault, but it. I think inherently it is it, it is, is his, his fault, fault because it's at his premises. You just yeah. assume responsibility he no did matter make what. The mistake, but him throwing it to his legal team is something he has to do. No, for sure, there's and nothing, he can't speak about it. There's too. nothing that he can right do further and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It, but I guess the the moral part is he didn't make the girl feel like. 
he was on her side. Yeah. And she like, why would I lie to you about this? It's really nothing. She and she did. also said, don't blame Kai. It's not his fault. Yeah. It's, and it's nothing. I, there's nothing that that. F- fellas, if you listen to this podcast, no one means no. Them niggas already sick. They ain't no saving them niggas. It's real. We got to kill them. <laughs> Bro, it's just like. Bro, that should be like. It's crazy that you can get. Like somebody could sexually assault a girl. Like especially the like the. Like walking into a room where a girl is asleep mm. and doing something with that's a girl. That's just crazy, bro. Crazy. And that shit like that, that should be like 30, 40 years. Like, that's just insane. Like this nigga is nasty, mad horny, weird. And if you do some shit like that, bro, I believe that you would kill somebody. Like that's like you. Like, Drunk, I don't care. There's like no excuse for that shit. It's just, it's just always weird, bro. It's just like... Dude, Dude was really out here like that, doing some random shit. You slimy shit, bro. <laughs> man. Yeah, man. Throw that nigga under the prison. Yeah. If, if, if that shit is true, then yeah, take the nigga. Put to him jail. in the shower with a Coca Cola can. <laughs> what That's Boosie what happens. Say? Is that what happens? No, Boosie said if you walk past a shower and it's a Coca Cola can, I mean, <laughs> what does it mean? I mean another dude riding another dude. <laughs> For real? <laughs> That's what he said on the What day. the fuck? <laughs> I even feel like they be they be up the plane up the the people getting like no nah, but you gotta think shit in but jail. you gotta think all right so obviously in the movies it makes it look like something happens every day in jail. yeah like drop yeah. the soap ball then this and that but you gotta realize the dudes that come home and tell stories if you listen to to a dude tell a story for an hour and he was just locked up for fifteen years he just jam packed fifteen years into an hour yeah so during that hour you can be like damn you seen fifteen dudes get uh you seen like, you know, 15 dudes that got sexually assaulted in mm-hmm. there? It's like, he was in there 15 years. It was just one a year. Yeah. Not to, like, say it's, like, casual. Like no, that, no, but, yeah. But he told you 15 times, and, he, like, he's seen 10 dudes that's die. That's crazy. Yeah, but that's crazy, though. That's why I never just want to go to jail, period. Yeah, they'll tap your ass. <laughs> no, they wouldn't, bro. <laughs> they'll get you in nah, there. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, you definitely they had your head between the bars and the cell where Fuck you can't no, move. Nah, nah, they have to. They have to take me out. They'd be like, let's see if this, uh, let's crash into this dummy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if I went to jail, bro, I should be fucked up. Man, <laughs> I'll write you, though. I'll be writing you hella Don't joke. write me, bro. Do not write me, bro. I, uh, I'll go write you. Don't bro. write me, bro. Do not write me if I ever go to jail. I'm just write you one big letter to say, Paul is in the chat. Nah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to they're gonna give it to another prison. Like, hey, I got a message for you from Pat. He told me I gotta do something first, and then oh. tell you pause the chat. Why would you set me up like that? That'd be crazy. I come out with a vengeance. Come out limping. <laughs> <laughs> That's so positive. Like, why would I be limping? Huh? Why would I be limping? Because they got you. And you're the dramatics, though. <laughs> Instead of saying "damn," it's not recording. You go, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> like nigga, nah, that hurt. You the type of nigga to call <laughs> if somebody die. You the type of nigga to call and be like, bruh, you won't believe who bleed in the street. <laughs> like, what? Right, you won't. Be- you won't believe who just passed away. <laughs> 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 like, nigga, like, I am in class. Why are you talking like this? <laughs> right, like, damn. Tell me to I didn't t- even really know Brody. <laughs> 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 oh man! All right, my bad, bro. We gotta ask this again to you. No, no, no I, that's, that's kind of crazy. Though. What? <laughs> Be like, yeah, I'm sad, bro. Died, but wearing a shirt is a bit much. I didn't know him like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that actually happened to me once. <laughs> what they, happened? Passed out, they passed out shirts of this guy that died. I said, uh, "Am I repping a gang?" He's like. <laughs> Who is this guy? He said, no, nah, man, just, just wear it. Show, you know what I'm saying? Show your condolences. I said, sorry. That's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> they wanted me to represent. You represent. You put, no, I'm trying to tell you, wearing people's t-shirts is repping a set. Before you know it, before you know it, you're in heaven talking to him. Talking about, Bro, how you get here? <laughs> I just yeah, had your merch on. I had your merch on. is crazy. <laughs> no, merch is crazy. That's what I'm going to start saying when I don't want to die. Be like, I do not want niggas wearing my merch like that. <laughs> don't buy my merch, please. Please. 
So you're not even no, donating to like the GoFundMe or nothing? Nah, I just said sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry to hear that, guys. Uh, <laughs> praying for. <laughs> Hell yeah. Prayers, prayers are good on the taxes, man. <laughs> Great on the tax. I'm an honest chap, you know. I'm an honest guy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. that might have been funnier than the original one. <laughs> no, nah, that shit is funny. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. That been funnier than. Oh, what? Uh, anyway, bro, what you got? What you got? Kind of going on? Let the people know. Hey, man, I got some merch. I got some merch that came out. Some beanies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which is weird because we actually had two guys who were model act like actually people that model mm-hmm. and they were doing crazy poses. So, um, you know, it was a different, it was a different experience. This guy <laughs> did a Michael Jackson lean pose and the other one did a Jojo stance pose. So, you know, guys, uh, I didn't know HHU was turning into a modeling agency. So if you need any modeling tips, Have you, I can direct. How the, how's the recruiting been going? Oh my God. Jeez Louise. We got, I had the beanie and went to the bar and a girl just said, you know what? Just because of that hat, let me take a beanie shot. (laughs) Where the fucking go? This is all I need? (laughs) (laughs) BJ Sasha said, he said, is that enough for you? Or do you need me to, do you need me to keep going? I said, let's, let's leave the bar. (laughs) (laughs) I said, let's go to my car. (laughs) So, oh, shit. I'm telling you that 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 beanie that beanie does wonder. Oh, insane! Shit! All right, everybody, go grab little goodies, beanies, and hats. If you know, <laughs> if you want the same results, fine. <laughs> better hurry if up. If you want that result, we got we got to put that. Uh, what's the in those little uh, Cialis commercials they be saying at the end? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This could give you oh, uh, a. <laughs> they'd be talking fast and stuff with all the symptoms. Right. They'd be like, with we, all the symptoms? HHU what? is not responsible for you not wearing a condom. So if you get committee, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are responsible. And uh, by the way, we're not making condoms. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Appreciate you coming on, man. Oh, man. Thank you. No problem. Hello? Yo, what's good? What's good? Not much, not too much. I got a question for you. <laughs> that boy got two different boys. He said, "What's good?" Then he could have, he didn't have connection. He said, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> what's good? No, I had to sit up. I had to sit up. Like, that was the confusion one. But all right, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> all right, if you're walking with your girl and someone snatches her purse, are you chasing after that person? God damn. Um, am I? How? What kind of person is it? Like, give me, give me the build. <laughs> the build? Say yeah, like six yeah. four, two forty. You think this two K nigga? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Wait, you said what? What you think this two K nigga talking about? Is he a paint beast uh, or a shot? This, that, this is very important. But you know what? Bigger than you. Pause. Bigger than me. Pause. pause. Whoa. Pause, Mike, in the chat. Um, <laughs> okay. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie though. <laughs> that nigga's moving the top. <laughs> That nigga said, Ooh. <laughs> oh, pause back in the chat. Oh, shit, you got me there, buddy. <laughs> Mike, hey, that one stuck in there, I can tell. Mike, anyway. What? what? Wait, what? I said, that one got Mike. I'm not going to lie, but. Oh, Mike talking about I've been in the chat. Didn't it sound like you said that one stuck in there? Yes, yeah, right? <laughs> nah, no, nah, I said that one stuck a nerve. Oh, okay. oh, no, no. I don't get angry about that. He's been in the <laughs> chat plenty of times. The event. <laughs> Who, me? No, bro. Oh, ask the question, question, bro. Question. Hey, yo. <laughs> um, but we talking about six four. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not the fastest nigga, but I, I'm making an attempt. You know what I'm saying? But if he that nigga giving comp- up already, comp- huh? You giving up already? Talking about no. Nah, I'm not the no. I'm not the fastest nigga, but if he come from me, like I, I don't even think it get that far. Like <laughs> I just shoot his ass. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Everybody ready to catch a body over a purse? Oh, a no, purse? because listen, like, no, nah, I'm not gonna lie. You say you're I gonna can't. chase him. What if you catch him? Then what? If I catch, dang, that's a good question. I shoot him then. <laughs> you gonna give him a chance to get a purse? Because we're gonna, because we're gonna, it's gonna be a Mexican standoff, and it's like I ain't pay five hundred for my God for nothing, and then I also had to pay for the license. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you want to you know niggas that want to use your gun? You no, problem. I don't want to use it. Nah, but like, nah, fuck that I don't shit. Listen, nah, hell no, I ain't cheap. listening. Nah, bullets aren't cheap. Glock isn't cheap. I'm you... putting this shit to action. <laughs> hey, you the problem, bro. The niggas that be trying to use that shit. No, I'm not even. I don't even be. 
Well, actually, let me not say nothing. Bro, but, you just said I, the price, bro. You said I paid 500 for the shit. It's going to get used. It was 550 to be exact. But yeah, I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna, <laughs> gonna to use my shit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> As a person is running though, you know that's a uh, you can no, no 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 not when they're not when they're running. I was I was playing. Well, no, nah, I was playing. I was playing over but, a girl. Yeah, we, huh? Over your girl, you would do that. This is but this is my girl. This is you said my girl. Not, um, if it's just some bitch girl that like I'm just you know, on a date, man. Fuck her first. Oh well, you, you know got disrespect her like that. <laughs> well, no, it's not. Dang, now y'all made me feel bad. You should. You shooting niggas for no reason, calling girls bitches for no reason. What type of nigga is you? <laughs> nah, you right. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, right. but yeah, I probably. I don't know. Yeah. So I got another question then for you. Um, What's up? Do you or do you not pee in the shower, and why? Mm, I don't know if I want to expose myself. Like, actually, fuck. I do. I do pee in the shower. Because it's like who do you live with? On water, huh? Who do you live with? I live by myself. Oh, so you good? You just you just rather step in and piss yourself every day? All right, nigga, come on now. That's what you're <laughs> doing. Now with the same shit, huh? That's what you're doing though. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Y'all niggas never peed in the shower. Don't lie. No, I as peed. a kid, as a kid, maybe. As a grown as man. a kid, maybe. I y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all capping right now for the, for the podcast. <laughs> Y'all capping for the podcast, crazy. Hey, they can see, they can see us. I can't see you, nigga. You got me. It's not, it's you anonymous, it's right? Not a, I mean, but it's, it's not like it's a regular thing. You anonymous right huh? now. You you can be real confident. <laughs> you all pissed in the shower, <laughs> nigga. It's our face on it, nigga. No, <laughs> it's not a regular thing though. It's like I usually use the bathroom and then I'll get in the shower. But like, damn, like if I'm in the middle of the shower, I'm not gonna turn the water off. You step out all wet, dripping on the floor, pee, and then oh, get back right, in the right, right, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hey. Nah. Y'all asked, I answered. Nah, it's crazy, though. Nah, but you talking about some other shit, though. Pause you and nah, the No, you talking about the same shit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why y'all both laughing like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Appreciate you coming on, bro. All right, y'all. I'll all right. fuck with y'all, man. All man. right, we don't. All right, peace. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the worst shit ever. Like, you'd be like, man, I fuck with you. Like, I don't fuck with you like that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know why you made that much effort to say that. <laughs> we are not friends, nigga. <laughs> I'm just glad people are not honest. That probably hurt my feelings. I was like, hey, you my boy. And niggas be like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't fuck with you like that, Patrick. <laughs> we just work together, man. Oh, man. Yo. Daniel? Yes. Hello, Daniel. How's it going? I'm good, Daniel. Good, good. Where are you from? Cameroon. I, I knew you had hey, to be somewhere in Africa. The homeland. What's up? You know I'm from I'm Nigeria, too, down. right? What? You know I'm from Nigeria, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. West African Brothers. I was born there. I did a SS1 okay. to SS3 there. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do you <laughs> do you or do you not pee in the shower? If so, why? Pee in the shower? Shit. That's difficult. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it can happen. <laughs> Shit. You want to be like, I'm going to wet the floor and everything. I'm just, I mean, I well do it here, and then I brush it off again. <laughs> I mean, the hole is right here in front of me. Why would I want to waste time? I mean, I well do it after I clean. I, I spray a lot of, like, I don't know, bleach or something is going to go away. Why would I want to get get out of the shower, start wetting the, the floor, and then I have to mop it again? <laughs> 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 no, that make hella sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've never. I heard mean, the... I'm the only one using that shower. What is going to happen? <laughs> hey, that sounds like a good answer to me. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Appreciate you coming on. Yeah, no problem. All right, bro. Why, why? Right. My boy. You already know time it is. <laughs> What's knew. going on, fellas? <laughs> uh, What's the deal? What's the deal? Man, chilling with y'all boys on, man. Shit, chilling, you know what I'm saying? What you been on? What's the, what, 
What's, I, hey. hey, man, I just had to dig a hole for this new body I just caught. Man. <laughs> man, I, was, I just put that. I just put a nigga under real quick. You see me? I, I just, told y'all was gonna happen last time. I told y'all niggas, I ain't fucking around. I told you, all audio listeners, this is my hitter right here. Y'all keep fucking around. Y'all, this what y'all gonna end up. Just, just, just don't send this shit to the feds. I got a hole for you too, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Playboy. <laughs> no, hey, I promise you, I won't snitch on you no more. That was a one time thing. Had to get my years uh, down. You feel me? I'm gonna go ahead and tell my nigga me to dig this hole real quick. I don't know what the fuck you want. I had to get my probation real quick. You feel me? But uh, I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I got a question for you. Okay. If you can tell your eight year old self one thing, but you only have one sentence to tell him, what would you tell him? One sentence? Yeah. Y'all be coming up with some good ass shit, boy. I tell you, <laughs> eight year old self. Uh, I just tell him like shit, nigga. Don't be out here raw dogging. <laughs> Cause shit look real good. Only fans gonna drop in about ten to twelve years. Motherfuckers gonna come only fans. So just don't be raw dogging. You good? <laughs> you start raw dogging these motherfuckers. All type of shit gonna pop up. Bro, you were raw dogging at eight. <laughs> don't tell nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell nobody else, bro. What the fuck. See, motherfuckers grow up different in Detroit, man. Motherfuckers get active early. <laughs> That's crazy early. <laughs> crazy early. Hey, like, I'm coming to you during that time, bitch. Motherfuckers shooting blanks and still raw dogging. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> I tell y'all, don't tell nobody else, man. God damn, give me a trip. I'm about this. <laughs> Yo, welcome to Crash Me's podcast. Yo, what up, yo? What up? That boy trying to sound smooth as hell. <laughs> nah, that's just how I talk. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's trying to say it. <laughs> what the, what I you, got, from? <laughs> you from Baltimore or something? Nah, I'm from Philly. Why are we like <laughs> everybody from Philly? <laughs> we got, we have you on the East Coast. Nah, y'all lit, bro. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie. I appreciate it. Right, I got a question for you. Do you or do you not pee in the shower and why? I did that shit today. <laughs> so you just be peeing in the shower? No, nah, I don't do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, I thought we was on the same page. <laughs> I see y'all reaction. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> don't let us change your life, bro. Keep missing in there. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I definitely sure do that, though. Yeah, I'm sure your family loves stepping in your piss, man. Hey man, I, do you think about it like that? Other people stepping in your piss. I'm sorry, ma. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. All right, bro. <laughs> All right man. <laughs> I appreciate uh, you coming on the podcast, man. No, nah, I appreciate y'all for having me. All right, for sure, um, for, for sure. sure. For sure, bro. You got anything to, to shout out? Um. Uh, nah, man. <laughs> keep doing y'all thing, <laughs> and I'm a uh, I'm an audio listener too. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm definitely an audio listener. Why'd you I giggle after, after you said YouTube. it though? <laughs> you didn't huh? even get. To, why'd you giggle like that after though? That you didn't even get no, your okay. sentence out, bro. Like I'll be listening to. All right, so I listen. I listen on. Uh, I, I guess Apple podcast or whatever, mm -hmm. and you just be why you be going at all the audio listeners like that? I know you're going to say some smart shit, so that's how you go. Cause fuck y'all niggas, that, that's why. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no, I'm just start watching on YouTube though. Y'all, y'all lit. Oh, uh, you lit, Brody? Fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> That nigga off the line. No audio listener. Fuck all that nice, nice shit. <laughs> nah, shout out to him. Shout out to the East Coast, though. Yeah, that's great. Kind of crazy. Baltimore, Philly. It's kind of crazy. Ain't Africa to the <laughs> East? <laughs> nah, it's West. It's still West. 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 <laughs> it's both. It's a globe, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> there was this dude somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Uh, a guy changed his gender legally. To gain custody of his kids because of the laws of like how they, uh, you like know, some between laws, women and men. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of laws side with the woman mm -hmm. in the custody battles. Oh wow! Yeah, so but he played the system. Yeah.
But who can tell? Yeah, nobody can really tell him no. No, not really. That's the that's that's where the tricky part where it gets to like the the gender stuff. It's so right now in in this sense, the people that are switching genders mm-hmm. or going to a gender, these are the people that I've been feeling like this my whole life. Uh, this is something I need to do. Yeah. Like this is really who I am. Mm-hmm. Now you about to start those people that hate that. Yeah, yeah. the people that hate that they be like, all right. I'm out to really fuck with the system so I get a law put in place for all of us. Oh. Because Americans are just just jealous people, bro. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, damn, you get to switch your gender. Not to say it's like any part to be in a different gender. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, we just read one. But if people start doing that, then people are going to start to say, like, you know, I'm. Especially if, like, the WNBA says, hey, we're going to let. Like people of different genders play basketball, right? Yeah. Like, what's stopping me? That that Olympic, the Olympic girl that won it, she just got, she just got her. I think her medal stripped. Oh damn. Yeah, I don't think I don't think she was allowed to do that. Well, they just ruled that she. But was it does get tricky it. though, right? Yeah. Because what tricky. what what constitutes somebody as like changing? Like, do I have to go through uh the the hormone therapy and all that stuff to right. say that that's why I want Scientifically, to? Scientifically, do yeah. I have to be? But still, it's just like those. Those jeans. Well, I like to see somebody windmilling in the WNBA. <laughs> Would I like to see somebody windmilling in the WNBA? Yeah. <laughs> but at what cost? <laughs> that would actually be interesting, though. You know what I'm saying? You, like, get those people to, like, man, this is how I play basketball. This is how I really feel. I want to be a woman. And I want to still pursue yeah. this sport. Like, damn. Like, it's that's a, it's tough. A... But then if, you, you know, you dropping 50 the first game, it's just like, <laughs> all right. Like, we gotta, like, Have you never dropped 50 in your life? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I was that that the woman that won the the, the now woman yeah. that won uh the, the swimming the swimming thing is she was ranked when she was a bottom man, like hundred bottom hundred and then she was number one yeah like, now you go into like that spot and it's like is that fair for the woman that came in second third and fourth mm-hmm. especially it's, the woman that came in fourth it's always it's 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 always gonna be one of those things where it's very tricky and people say like oh they should just form their own league but it's like there's not enough of them too it's going to be like you know like they actually play sports and like the pool is just smaller yeah, so the like, competition level is going to be less interesting but i don't know i have no answers to these uh <laughs> to these questions i ain't got no answers man <laughs> yeah. it really ain't no answers like only it's only two sides it's yeah. like do you support them mm-hmm. or you don't Exactly. And it's only two sides. Like, if you try to dwindle through, be like, hey, I support them. But but I, but I don't believe they should be playing sports. you still going to make enemies. still yeah. going to be people saying, did you know if you change 55% or some shit like that? So you always going to have them arguments. So at this point, you either with it or you not. Yeah. Look at us tackling the hard issues in, in America. When you said tackling the hard, I got scared. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's it's like you can't have a normal conversation. When you said a normal conversation, I thought (laughs) (laughs) they got El Chapo's son. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. They said in a fire, a blaze. They they're running the muck. (laughs) (laughs) I remember they caught him the first time, and then um, the they started writing like they're doing now. Yeah, and they released him because of that. Oh, so they just trying to like do it again. Hey. That's just crazy how much power the cartel has. So much power. <laughs> and they were given that power by the government in the first place. Yeah. It's like, y'all created this monster. Then y'all got mad when y'all wasn't working together no more. Now he on his own. That's crazy. That boy just yawned during the podcast. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I didn't listen to He do not rock with y'all, bro. I got bro. like one hour of sleep. It's 6.15. Don't nobody give a fuck how much sleep you got. And I got a workout in too. You got a workout in? Yeah. Don't nobody give a fuck if they you do. worked out. I know y'all been seeing me slim down a little bit. Yeah, you have slimmed down. I was down. like 240 when we started this podcast. Now I'm like 225. Your brain cells slimmed down too. No, no, I still got you my brain. You definitely brains. got dumber since oh, episode one. No, I think I sometimes when I listen to back to myself, I feel like I might have a little like CTE coming in. You do. Because sometimes I'd be stuttering my words and I don't really stutter in real life. Like, I'd be like, uh, is it, is it, is it, right? I'm like, damn, why I see you take like some that? hard hits. I'm yeah, yeah. Lie. It's all right. I, I see you. Get, get, I see take some hits too. Never. <laughs> what? You never see me taking no hits. <laughs> yes, I did. But the six-year-old shot a teacher. What you got to say about that? Um, That's crazy. The parents. The teacher alive? I don't know. The parents got to go to tough. jail. You about to look it up? No, no. I got to look it up because I got a couple of jokes to make. And if I make these jokes and they dead, <laughs> <laughs> my God. For real, nobody want no jokes out there. <laughs> yeah, You're really. joking about it, and he got a cap in his ass. Six-year-old shoots teacher. 
Condition of teacher shot by child. Okay, she she okay. Okay, go ahead. You I'm, you on you on the ledge yourself. No, it's tough because she a woman. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So no comment. No comment. Damn. Yeah. Look at Pat playing the safe route. Yeah. Damn. We need to get new sounds in here. Every, yeah, week, we, yeah, yeah. every week we say this. We got to get the, the, the you capping one because it was a dude that capped and said he had a foursome today. That's foursome is just like, just so unbelievable, So bro. unbelievable. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless you got the, they all look like they d lining for the Green Bay Packers. You do not have a foursome. <laughs> Even at that, bro. Hmm? That's just to orchestrate four girls, three girls. Yeah. It's just a, it just seems like a difficult task. Very unrealistic. <laughs> yeah. Unless you just for a dude, like for that. a random dude calling our podcast, right? It's like, <laughs> I mean, it's like probably one in a million that yeah. happened to. There's like some professionals that they're out here doing it, and then the the, the dudes that's doing it, they never talk about that shit just yeah. casually like that. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't brag about that shit because they doing it every day. Yeah, they had the what do you call it. They had like a was it like adult film festival or some shit this weekend? Oh, they I, always, I saw a lot of um, YouTubers that <laughs> <laughs> saw a lot of recognizable faces. Huh? <laughs> no, I was saying I saw a lot of YouTubers that like featured them in their content, like yeah. Logan Paul and them friends and stuff like that. Yeah. So they're all there. I was just wondering. That's like a, I a interesting, know, um, a interesting convention to kind of. I didn't go know to. Adam Twenty Two's girlfriend or wife was a porn star. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> Adam Twenty Two is. I didn't know that either. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't want to know that. No, no, but there is though. He talks about it a lot on this podcast. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. They, she's uh, full blown. That's insane. That boy said full blown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have an Adam twenty two. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. Couldn't be me. <laughs> They're making so, bro. Adam makes so much money. Like he's saying, like with the OnlyFans stuff and all this stuff, they make like. A couple million a month, and then Sheesh. with no jumper stuff, a couple million a month. Sheesh. So it's like. But they have a daughter now, too, so it's, like, it's strange. Yeah, it's like, what do you do after you have a kid? Yeah. If you're a porn star. Yeah. <laughs> Would you go on a date with a porn star? Would I go on a date with one? Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Would you kiss a porn star? Would I? With knowing that she is? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> but you got like this, just like she just came back from straight. <laughs> like she just literally got done sucking. What if you some kiss shit. a porn star? No, you dating a porn star and you kiss her and she's like, oh, and then you ask her like, oh, babe, what was you just doing? She's like, just got off work. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you be like, hold on, let me go check what you just filmed. <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, it's DeMarco. I don't judge in that sense. Whereas, like, people can do what you, they want. No, 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 no. But yeah. it's your preference, though. No, yeah, my preference. Just, just because you wouldn't date a porn star doesn't I wouldn't, mean porn stars aren't dateable. No, yeah. I don't know if it would be tough for me to date one, like, and take it seriously. And, like, say, like, I'm about to pursue it. Because, obviously, especially not with the podcast and stuff like that, it would be we- very weird to do yeah. something like that. Because- like, because all the, all, I'm sure they go through a lot of, like, to make sure they don't get pregnant by their yeah. co-stars, I'm sure they do a lot, and it rarely ever happens as long as they follow all the things that they need to follow. Yeah, and a lot of but, them, but a have, lot of them even say that they're not even like that sexual in real life. Like, yeah, that, yeah. They, they don't really like. That's not really them. It's just obviously it's acting in those scenes yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. like that. So it's like they're they might be pretty cool in real but life. But to like, but to like have a loyal girlfriend, yeah. like you know she's loyal. Yeah, you still got to get a DNA test just in case. Yeah. <laughs> Because it was five dudes in one video. Yeah, nah, see, he, that's tough. That's tough, ain't it? There was a YouTuber, he was uh, dating a, a porn star named uh, Lana Rhodes, and um, he was saying that, you know, people will come up to me like, oh, how, but, you know, it depends on, like, what type of, like, confidence you have in yourself, I feel like. You gotta have hella confidence. Yeah, and I, I feel like I'm a confident person. But not that confident. But for, it's just like, I hate when somebody has like the one up on me and jokes and shit like yeah. that all the time. <laughs> like, I can be grilling the person and making fun of them. He's like, ain't this your girl? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's say you in a club and you talking shit like, man, fuck y'all. You in a section, they in a section. Like, man, we'll beat y'all ass. We'll beat y'all ass. And like the 10 dudes that you beef. Let's say you got 10 dudes with you. Yeah. It's 11 over there. It's 11, 11 even. And instead of fighting, they all just download a different video of your yeah. girl. And they just showing it like this. <laughs> That's tough. And you're tough. And it's crazy. It's There's no be... comeback to it. it. Yeah, it is a comeback. What? <laughs> Everybody get out. <laughs> yeah. End the party early. I'm about to shoot every phone over there. <laughs> 
That's the target. <laughs> That's when you just end the party early. Hell yeah, the party got in. <laughs> but you always got to take. Ain't it that crazy? Extreme. One shot in the air can just end the whole uh, whole party. Ain't that? Ain't that kind of crazy? <laughs> it's like, bro, I'm not having fun anymore. Bow, <laughs> everybody, get the fuck out. Oh no, oh no, I saw her first. God. <laughs> no fucking twerking in this bitch. <laughs> hey, can oh. I get your number? No, you ugly. When the lights came on, <laughs> All right, girls' night over then. We out. <laughs> All right. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. That's um, it. That's it. Thank you all for listening to today's episode. I know y'all can't wait till we start doing two episodes a week, but remember, it's going to go only if we ever do two episodes a week, it's going to be on Patreon. Like, it's just, it has to be. We're, it, it, yeah, it just has to be. So it's going to be on Patreon whenever we start doing two episodes a week. Hey, I rock with y'all. Y'all stay up. What's coming up? No holidays? Oh, merch is in development. Officially, nah, hey, officially, go back. Somebody put uh, officially, hey, hey, hey don't that? it don't what's matter that? what I said to this last year. That was last year. This year, new new year, new me. We got merch coming, right? Lying ass. Nigga, the first man. design is going to be done by the end of the month. You lying? I literally I swear know. It is. I literally know the design. I literally just showed you. Nah, it's, I in, ain't re- see it. it's in for revision right now. I ain't seen no design. I did show you it. Nah. I did. Well, shit, you gonna, you gonna see when they see it then? Nah, exactly. <laughs> hey, nah, ain't nothing. Ain't shit in the works. He lying. Nah, nah. If it's y'all coming. really want merch, subscribe to Patreon, and then we give all the Patreon members a free sticker. <laughs> no, we will give all the Patreon people a free sticker if they buy merch. You just gotta. I don't know how I'm gonna the logistic about that, but but if you're signed to Patreon when merch obviously drops, they'll you guys will get it first. Um, we'll even try throwing maybe a discount for Patreon people only to the shop a secret page yada 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 whatever um yeah but that been that was episode 80, 80. jay rice you're waiting for that huh no nah, i think i said it earlier hating ass nigga yeah oh <laughs> i forgot one more thing damn i almost forgot so if you are subscribed if you if you are on patreon and you also listen on audio it means you're still a bitch because you're audio oh my god <laughs> all right this was episode 80 piece